Liam, you ready to get some protein? Yeah. Sweet. You ready? Yeah. It's like GNC, just for pets. That's protein. You don't want to eat crickets? Huh? What do you think? No? You ready to eat our crickets? You want crickets? Did I? Yeah, buddy. We gotta eat. We need to get our protein in for the day. Are they live crickets? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. This we gotta take out. It'll be fine. They might hop around in your mouth. I might spit it out in the toilet. You might spit it out in the toilet? Yeah. Well then you won't have all your protein for the day. Ew. Are you ready? Yeah. So. Do you want to try, I believe there's like a cookie dough flavor, there's a brownie flavor, and I can't remember what the other flavor is. So like, if you were to have one of those crickets, what? Cricket pro chocolate chip cookie dough. All right, so what we're actually going to be having is by EXO. These are cricket protein bars, so I'd seen this on Facebook and the sampler pack, so it's a three pack. There's three different bars that are available. Uh, cricket flour is definitely something that is a, a craze that is slowly building. Decent profile on the bar. Each bar is slightly different and it looks like based on the way that the, the fiber content is. That's how they get the adjustments in the, in the calories because the calories are pretty close to each other and I'd have to tally them up to see exactly if they're using fiber as a source of reducing down some of the total calories in the bar itself. We've got three different options to try and this actually does contain cricket flour. We are looking at prebiotic dietary fiber, a protein blend of cricket powder, pea powder, egg white powder, almonds, pea crisps, which are pea protein isolate, pea starch, and rice flour, agave syrup, chocolate chips, which come from, which they make theirs from sugar, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, lecithin and natural vanilla extract. And then there's cocoa powder, vanilla extract, natural flavors, salt, citric acid, monk fruit extract, and coconut oil. I'm sure the ingredients are gonna be pretty close for all of these, so rather than going through all of them, yeah, we're pretty close on each one. I mean, outside of maybe some chocolate chip ingredients. Which one do you want to try? Chocolate chip cookie dough, peanut butter chocolate chip, or chocolate fudge brownie? Chocolate fudge brownie. Chocolate fudge brownie. Okay. All right. Why crickets requires less land. Crickets take up less land, water, feed, and produce less greenhouse emissions than other animal protein sources. Find us at exoprotein.com. All right, so it says they're farmed in Austin, Texas, so I'm not sure if Austin crickets are raised a little different, a little more country than, say, New York crickets. Well, I mean, as far as it goes, let's open this up. Oh, there's a live one. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. You can see the crickets in it. Are they alive? Oh, oh. All right, so that is what a bar looks like. You can kind of see some chocolate chunks in there. Maybe that's live crickets that are in there. I'm not sure. They're not really making any noise yet. But that is what we have looking like for a bar. So pretty standard for a protein bar, but for people that are not familiar with bars, that's probably going to look like something else. They're all ground up into flour. Um, so we've got the pull-apart texture. We'll see what that looks like. All right, kind of a little tacky in terms of uh, in terms of the bar itself, which is again not not too uncommon. But um, let's give it a go. Ready? Oh, you're just ready to dive in. All right. Not super rich on the flavor. Not not overly sweet. I would say a good balanced flavor. There's uh, cocoa. Cocoa is kind of strong in terms of that coming through, but not overpowering. So it's got a pretty good brownie flavor. Again, they're not, not super sweet in terms of the brownie flavor, but 
The flavor overall is not bad. And so we are looking at what we got chocolate fudge brownies. So I mean, I'm not exactly sure what the little what the little chunks are here. Um, because it's chocolate fudge brownie, so it doesn't really say it's chocolate like nut brownie or anything like that. So I'm not really sure what those are. Maybe a lot of crickets, who knows? What do you think, buddy? Good. Good? In terms of if you would have more of these, would you eat another one? No? So I think some of the some of the reason might be that there's you know that there's crickets in there and on, on these other two bars there's actually crickets that are um, that are shown on the label. Yay. So it's got a pretty solid chew to it <clears throat> in terms of consistency. Less chewy than a Quest bar. I'm not really finding that I'm needing a bunch of milk to wash it down either. Overall, I would say that it's a good bar. I, I would say that um, we'll kind of have to see what the what the gut bomb might be because that is a lot of protein, or that, excuse me, that is a lot of fiber that's in the bar itself. Especially with prebiotic fiber, that's probably the, a lot of the binding that they're using to be able to bind this bar together, rather than having to use a lot of um, a lot of fats to really pull pull the dry ingredients together. <clears throat> but outside of that, that that would be where the prebiotic fiber would really come into play to kind of mold the bar. Overall, a pretty pretty balanced bar in terms of carbs to proteins to fats. So for the for the most part, it's nine grams of fat. It's nine to ten grams of fat, twenty five to twenty six grams of carbohydrates. 15 to 16 grams of fiber, and then pretty balanced in terms of the protein being 16 grams across the board for these. So outside of that, I would say that overall, I would give these bars a, a four out of five. That's just because <clears throat> in terms of this overall, with the, the fiber content seems to be reaching a little bit, but the, the flavor is just a little bit not sweet enough for me. Liam is definitely someone that is uh, leaning away from the, the concept of crickets being included in foods. Outside of that, I do like the concept. I, I do like the, the concept of sustainability within foods just because that is something that we definitely need to be conscious of. Outside of that, thank you for watching. Please remember to click that thumbs up down below. Comment below if you have any questions. If there's something else out there that you actually want us to try, this just had, happened to pop up, do click that subscribe button. Please remember to subscribe to the channel as well. Subcri subscriber content is going up, so that is... Definitely another promising point within the channel itself. Outside of that, thank you for watching and keep pushing.